everyone just to contact police. Well, now for some good news. In an Australian first, doctors in Queensland have performed spinal surgery on a baby with spina bifida while it was still inside its mother's womb. The risky operation was carried out at Brisbane's Mater Hospital with the help of a specialist team from the United States. Dr Glenn Gardner is the hospital's director of maternal fetal medicine and he joins us now. Glenn, good morning and firstly congratulations on the successful operation. Good morning, Michael. Uh, thank you very much. And wh what was the significance of that surgery? Well, uh, this is an operation that has been performed uh, for some years now in the US and is available in Europe. It's not been available to families within Australia, and this is something we've been working on now at the MATA for, for a few years, trying to make it accessible for um, patients in Australia. And uh, what's the significance of operating while in utero as opposed to what has normally been the case in Australia and waiting until the baby has been, uh, has been delivered? That's actually, the, yeah, that's the crucial question. Why operate um, before the baby's mm. born? Well, a, a study was published in 2011 from the US that showed significant benefit to babies who are operated on with spina bifida before birth. Um, there is ongoing damage to the spinal cord when the baby's in utero as it develops. If you can get to the baby earlier and close the open spinal defect, you can reduce some of that damage and the plan is get the pregnancy to term and hopefully um, in the majority of cases have a better outcome. That's an amazing uh, prospect. Uh, how, how delicate an operation was it on Saturday? Uh, it, was, it was delicate. Um, it, obviously the fetus is a lot more fragile than at term and, um, but the, the operation uh, is designed to manage that, that, that situation. It's a big team of multiple different specialties that come together and have a specific role. Um, it, it went very smoothly though, I must say. And how, how is the mother uh, this morning? Great, yes, I've already uh, checked in this morning and um, good news is we're, we're kind of reducing some of the, the high level monitoring we've been um, providing post-operatively and now we're kind of winding back a little bit and um, yeah, she's, she's great and baby's great as well. It'll be great to see more of this. Uh, realistically, uh, Glenn, what, what is the prospect of this surgery being more commonplace in Australia? Yes, I think time will tell, um, particularly the question of need uh, is one. We've had a couple of patients um, that have sought this surgery overseas and as people become aware that it's available now, um, we expect that there will be some inquiries and, um, and we hope that um, for parents um, who choose to consider this operation that they um, come and see us. Well, Glenn Gardner, thank you again and uh, once again congratulations to you and your team. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for having me on. Cheers. Okay, let's